In the book Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, the author uses a writing technique called anthropomorphism to turn Black Beauty into an animal autobiography. The book was written in first person from Black Beauty's point of view. This book is one of the first animal autobiographies to have been written. The book embarks on many themes. I will list a few. One of the messages of the book is that ignorance is just as bad as wickedness. Wickedness is portrayed as a destructive force, and in some instances, deadly. Ignorance costs the lives of Black Beauty's brother and his writer. Ignorance is often described as the worst thing in the world next to evil. This book encourages Christian values. These include God as the creator of all things, doing good to others, and observing the Sabbath because God rested on that day. Even Black Beauty's mother tells him, I hope you grow up gentle and good and never learn the bad ways. Do your work with a good will. Lift your feet up well when you trot and never bite or kick even in play. This book is also about standing up against injustice. Throughout the book, there are several instances where one must rise up against the oppressor. One person is quoted as saying, My doctrine is this, that if we see cruelty or wrong, that we have the power to stop and do nothing, we make ourselves sharers in the guilt. This book is about the importance of animal rights, too, because animals suffer just as humans do. There's not only the cruelty exhibited by various owners, but there's also the gear that horses wear, like the bit in their mouth, or the saddle they have to carry on their back. The author gives the voiceless a voice, since horses can't speak for themselves. Ultimately, that's what this book is about. I suggest you read this book with an open mind, learn the valuable lessons it speaks, and apply them to your lives. Well, I hope you liked the video. Talk to you later. Bye.